have the British High Commissioner to Nigeria with us today, uh, with uh, the Director of the UK uh, Trade uh, and Investment uh, Commission. So let's give them a warm energy warm. <laughs> Dr. Andrew Polka, uh, the British High Commissioner, uh, started in December of uh, last year. Uh, this, I believe, will be your third posting in Africa. Have, uh, fourth posting in Africa, and he was originally in Nigeria at the beginning of his uh, career. So I would invite him to make a few comments, but I thought it was important to state that we had uh, discussions earlier on with them. Uh, we touched upon bringing in more British companies to come and interact with our companies here. Uh, there are a number of British companies listed already, which you know about. Um, and uh, also using the exchange um, as a, a good intermediary to attract foreign portfolio investments and foreign direct investments uh, into the country and vice versa uh, to Britain as well. Excellent. May I say what a pleasure and honour it is to be here. And I bring you greetings from the city of London, uh, your perhaps older brother further north of, of Lagos. I follow in the distinguished footsteps of the Lord Mayor of London, who had the privilege of being here a couple of months ago, and who brought within, again, very actively, the interest of the city in looking at uh, Nigeria as a market for more trade, looking at Nigeria as a market for further investment, and looking at ways in which we can work more closely using the stock market as an instrument of value added and extra interest in the way that Oscar has mentioned. So it's a huge pleasure to be here, and what makes it even, I'm sure, more exciting for you is that I'm going to ring the bell and you can cease trading in an orderly fashion. I'm very glad to be here. Yeah. Um, Pleasure. Part of the broker, they talked about the issue of uh, 3,000 bonds yes. for these applicants. Yes. Uh, what do you have to say about this? I say two things. Firstly, uh, it is not a visa charge. It's not a visa fee. No Nigerian will ever be asked to pay 3,000 pounds for a British visa. So it has nothing to do with that. Secondly, it is not a policy yet. It hasn't been decided. And if it is decided, it will apply to only a very tiny fraction of the 150,000 Nigerians who apply for a British visa every year. So the effect, even if it becomes British policy, which is not yet, the effect will be very limited. And the 125,000 Nigerians who visit the UK legally every year will see only a tiny fraction impacted by this. So this is not uh, a 3,000 pound visa fee. That is the message I'd wish to leave with Nigerians. And the second thing I would say about this is, if we decide that this will become a policy, we will tell, firstly, the Nigerian government, and secondly, the Nigerian people, so that everyone has all the information they need. But this is not a major threat to Nigerians coming to the UK. That I can guarantee. So what is your assessment of Nigerian capital market? And how do you intend to partner uh, the blue Nigerian capital markets? The UK has been involved in Nigeria in capital markets, but also in trade and other forms of uh, commercial activity for many, many years. We see Nigeria as a country of great potential economically, obviously in the extractive industries, but also in manufacturing, and there are British manufacturers here, and increasingly in moving up the value chain in the services sector, and we have a great deal of expertise in the UK to offer on financial, legal, health, public-private partnerships, service industry and service areas of that kind. And part of my job here is to invite British companies of all sizes to come down again, have another look at the Nigerian market and make up their mind about whether they can trade or invest here on the basis of what they see, not just of what they read in the newspapers or, or hear in the media. So we think there's real potential here. 
and we want to get British companies of all sizes, as I say, to come down and have a look.